Hello everybody, just wanted to send out an update. Um, I know a lot of you have been following um, online our progress for these new pixel strings and we're finally done with uh, all of our prototypes. Um, I got the very first production run pixels in this week. Wanted to take a few minutes to go over and explain um, all the details of these things. They'll be listed as uh, Technicolor Pixels um, after our website. Um, strings all come with a molded on end. That way uh, you don't have to solder anything on. Um, these come injection molded right onto the wire. Um, and these are the standard uh, three pin um, waterproof plugs that work with all of the regular stuff that's on AliExpress. Um, so nothing proprietary. If you have a lot of the three core already, this will already work with them. Um, the wires themselves are a 20 gauge wire. They're a high strand wire. Um, we can't get to the 18 gauge on these because the boards are too small um, to get the, the all the solder points on there and get all that to fit. Um, so what we did is we actually went with a, a 20 gauge which is a high that has a higher strand count in it um, so the there won't be as much of an issue with voltage drop um, you can see there's quite a few different uh, lens options with these um, and I want to go over some of those um, a lot of these have been available for a while already and so the the system as it works right now um, is meant to work both with these existing lenses as well as with some of these uh, new lenses that we've had done just for this design but um, the main component of the node is this module here um, these are injection molded so the whole thing is cast all at one shot um, it has uh, little mounting tabs on each side that way these can be screwed into um, a board, a soffit, a mounting panel, something like that. Um, these also work to run zip ties uh, around this section here. If you wanted to mount these on a piece of PVC or electrical conduit, um, like for a, a mega tree or for an arch. Um, and then the, the pixel itself has a little marking on the side here that shows uh, direction. So if you ever cut your cords anywhere, um, you want to use a a last bit of piece because the wires are all black and there's not any other marking on the pixel itself we had to show direction some way so there's a little arrow molded right into the plastic there that shows that um, the node itself is a little bit different from the standard nodes that um, have been available and I want to go over some of those features uh, the first part is you notice how long this is um, that was designed to give a lot of contact with the wire um, so that there's not any uh, moisture penetration or intrusion here where the wire enters the plastic. Um, secondly, you'll notice these things are really fairly rigid. Um, there's a little bit of flex, a little bit of give in to them if I really pry hard on them. But this is uh, much harder than the, the standard silicone that we usually find um, for nodes. Um, the silicone is just too soft and that movement allows it to flex and allows water to get in right there at uh, the point where the wire enters. Um, so a lot of contact, about a half an inch of wire inside of the mold there and then um, the rigid plastic helps fight those two things. Um, next you'll notice how thick the material is around the top of the LED here. Um, the other area where we find the most water intrusion is right here at the edge of the LED. Um, that water runs down the, the side here and it'll get underneath that lip. Um, a lot of times the, the nodes that are silicone in, uh, jacketed that have a resin filling on the inside, the resin doesn't even penetrate all the way to the bottom um, of the LED. And I've got a couple of examples of that. I'll see if I can grab them at the end of the video here. Um, but you'll notice that there's a lot of material around this and this is thick and that is designed um, to resist any flex or movement in that because as these things get warm, these are 12 volt strings, they do get a little warm, um, that, that plastic becomes more flexible, more pliable. Um, 
also the the diameter of this is designed to be really just a little bit larger than these lenses so when these lenses go down over the top of these it's really a very very tight very snug fit um, which helps maintain the the waterproof uh, seal around that edge there um, these also come with a ring uh, and I took the ring off just so you could see how tight that fit um, the ring is actually designed to work with one of the other lens types um, but it also you'll notice it fits very very tight in there so when you get the lens in and the ring in what we're doing is we're compressing all of that plastic material that's around the base of that LED squeezing it tight and preventing any water from being able to penetrate at that that top edge of uh, of the node which seems to be uh, the weak spot on all all of these things is right there at that that top edge um, so again I mentioned there's lots of different lens options this is a uh, clear C9 um, this is a frosted white C9 this really looks like uh, the old ceramic uh, C9 bulbs a lot of us grew up with probably um, kind of that more retro look um, the traditional faceted uh, clear faceted C9s um, then the new ones and these are actually colored because these were uh, a prototype batch um, but this is the C9 and then there's actually a smaller C7 um, as well and these are actually the the lens types that were designed to work with this whole system um, these fit very very tight on these mounting rings in fact I'm not even sure I can get this one off um, but you'll see the the base of the lens itself is actually threaded um, I think I've got another one in the box here let me look this one off. There we go, that one's loose. So you see the base of the lens is actually threaded here um, and those threads just fit really really tight in these uh, mounting rings. Um, so that threads in just a part of the way into the ring. Um, again nice tight fit seal. Um, and you can see on the inside that we have some uh, threads on the ring left exposed. Um, that is the same distance or same measure as the threads that we have on the side of the node. So when this gets tightened down onto the string, um, we end up with a nice tight fit seal around everything there. Um, the ring also gives us a little room uh, to use a standard c9 roof clip with uh, these things don't require any special mounting you don't have to use the tabs if you don't want to um, the idea was to just come up with a really versatile uh, design for uh, a pixel node that could be used for a lot of different applications so that's what these are um, the strings I'm showing here these are actually the uh, sample strings they're just five nodes long they've got the male on one end female on the other end and one of each of the lens types. Um, these are what I've been sending out to uh, people that wanted to see what these were. Um, I've got a short list that I kind of send stuff to uh, a few individuals that I really trust their opinion on um, on this new stuff. So that's what uh, these sample strings are. Um, the final strings uh, should be actually eight inch spacing. These are six inch uh, for these these prototypes but it should be 8 inch spacing from the center to the center of the bulb. Um, all the strings come with as I mentioned before a male um, incoming wire, a female plug on the outgoing side. Um, we've got these solid caps now and again these are protos so they're white. The finals will be black um, so we can cap these when they're not in use. Um, the entry or the the beginning wire with these things as they come in on the short ones it's just the the standard 
on the actual final strings. Um, this is one of the the prototype finals. I can get it open here. Um, we actually have a uh, two meter lead wire. So we've got our our male ingoing plug here. We've got two meters of cable before we hit our first wire. Um, that way you're not forced to do any extensions or special plugs or anything like that um, before this this first node. Um, these are limited to two meters because these are 12 volt 28 uh, 12 or 2811 um, IC types and that's just inside of uh, the maximum distance that we can go with these things so uh, to keep it really user friendly really uh, you know beginner DIY level um, we, we put that two meter limit on there just so that there's not any problems with the distance um, for these things to go um, I've got this uh, first one here running just the the test cycle on the P12R. I will shoot a, uh, a later video once I get uh, one of these prototype strings here up on the roof with all of these uh, lenses on them so we can see what they look like when it's dark out um, and you know from various distances um, and I'll, I'll set up some uh, test cycles to run through those. Um, as far as weather testing and all that goes um, I've done the traditional soak test where these things sit in just a bucket of water. Um, I've done a pressurized soak test up to 10 PSI with them. Um, I've actually got a batch sitting in the freezer right now. I've been doing freeze and thaw cycles on them because uh, the expansion contraction seems to be what really makes these things fail. So I'm on my 8th or ninth um, run through with uh, all of those um, checking to see for any intrusion and so far uh, so good uh, the only nodes that I've had fail were actually nodes that were um, misformed from the beginning um, and I can kind of show you what some of those issues were um, here's one if I can get it up close here um, hopefully you can see it and get it to focus uh, you can see the edges of the circuit board are exposed right here this was just misformed from the factory. You can see where the wire is poking through. Um, we actually made a design change with that. Instead of soldering the wires to the back of the board, we moved into the top of the board. That moved the board further down in the mold and eliminated some of those peek throughs. Um, we've also tried uh, a couple different kinds of wire. Um, this was one of the earlier ones and just uh, didn't work. So it's really been a long time. Uh, coming for these. There's been a lot of uh, changes, a lot of work done to try to get something that um, is a really good long-term product. Um, I know most of us have sizable investments in these things and especially if you're kind of at the beginner level trying to get into this, you want to make sure that whatever you buy is going to last for quite a while. Um, and you know the usable lifespan is some of the early pixel strings that I remember getting you know, two years ago, um, you were lucky if they made it more than about a month or two. So the goal with these things was to um, to get something that's, that's really going to be a long-term product that somebody can make a one-time investment in and to give uh, a design for the base and the mounting options that um, even as you change your display or, you know, come up with new designs, new decorations, new ideas, um, that you would still be able to use the same pixel string for all those different options. So, um, if you got any questions, leave them in the comments of the, the video. Um, as I said, these are in full production now, so the link should be live on AliExpress. Uh, I believe there's a couple group buys going on as well. Um, important thing to remember with the pricing typically, the prices uh, are for the standard 4 inch spacing with uh, no lead wires and no lenses. So you really want to make sure you specify um, when you're ordering it or if, if you're looking at one of the higher priced links um, that those are priced higher because they include the lens or um, a, a lead wire or some standard change. Um, but as I said, I know a lot of you have been anxious to see these things, see them running. Uh, when I get all of these assembled um, and up on the roof, uh, I will shoot a follow-up video to this, but 
Until then, I uh, hope this helps people understand how these work, uh, what they are, and uh, happy decorating.